Hey everyone, it's Lauren Messiah, your personal fashion stylist, and we are going to do a what's inside my bag video. I know, how have we not done one already? It's crazy. So we're gonna hop inside of my purse, which don't worry, I've removed all of the like candy wrappers and receipts. That's usually what the inside of my bag looks like but today it's nice and clean and it has the normal stuff that I keep in my bag, so I'm gonna show it to you right now. First of all, my bag. This is my Gucci that I got from Luxury Garage Sale. I had a little pop-up shop in my styling studio and all of my clients came, all of my PSU members that are on the West Coast came to shop and of course I ended up shopping for myself and I bought myself this bag. So let's look inside. I am always working, so I keep my planner, my Chanel planner in my bag and I'm such a nerd. You might have seen a past blog post that I did about my planner nerddom. I, a couple of years ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, I ordered the Day Designer Planner, and before I ordered it, I went on YouTube to see if there was any reviews about the planner, and then I entered this whole crazy world of like planner nerds. It's like scrapbooking meets hyper-organized people, and I got super into it, and I ordered the Chanel Planner, and I have stickers, and like I've got the whole like get down. I'm trying to find a page that doesn't have too much. These are all kind of light. These are all kind of light on the stickers, but like, you know, I put like little stickers of like money and this was my day off. Look at that. So I paid my bills that day. I still worked that day. I went to lunch. Yeah, so I'm like a super planner nerd. I keep things in my digital calendar, but I also like to keep them in the paper calendar because I love the like act of checking something off. And like, what if your computer goes south? You gotta have it in paper. And when it's Chanel, you just, you just do it. Uh, so then, so I had been using that for years and then I just recently found this productivity planner. I was in New York and I was at Anthropology just killing time and I saw this and I started kind of flipping through it and I was like, Lauren, you don't need it. You already have a planner you're fine, but I couldn't get it off my mind. So when I got back into LA, I bought it. And this thing has changed my life, which is why I don't leave anywhere without it. I put it in my purse, I take it with me places. So you really should read this, this planner, like don't just dive into it. It has like a whole lesson on like how to use this particular planning system. But I use it, woo boy do I use it. Why do I use it? So basically you're putting like your most important task first and then secondary tasks and so on. You plan out all of your most important tasks for the week and kind of divvy them up. And you can't move on to the next task until you finish the first one. So I am a very productive person just by nature, but this has helped me up my productivity game in what matters the most. So I really cannot go a day without this thing, which is why I carry it everywhere. And then I can't like let go of the Chanel planner because that's my appointments, so I just do both. And then I don't go anywhere without my iPad. Like, why would you do that? It's crazy. So that's like my nerd part of my bag. Um, On to the practical, my wallet. So <laughs> I'm like I'm like the George Costanza of wallets for women. Uh, this is my Balenciaga wallet, and it's so full, like I can barely get it zipped because I like have receipts in here, my checkbook for like the one, I write a check, what, once a year, uh, change, gift cards, 800 credit cards. I have like change in coins that aren't even for this country. Like, it's ridiculous. I can barely zip it. The wallet's looking pretty beat. It's probably time to get a new one, but for now, that's what it is. So I got my wallet. Um, I always have a pair of sunglasses, so this, today's sunglasses are my Fendi sunglasses that I got at Saks Off Fifth. I, I so badly 
want to be the girl that can change her sunglasses every day with her look and who can wear like cheap sunglasses and be like, ooh, look, today I have pink sunglasses on, it's so fun. I just, I can't, like I don't like cheap sunglasses. I just don't, like they don't look good on my face, they don't feel the same, they don't have the same sort of protection for your eyes. And like, I have contacts, I'm trying to protect these eyes, okay? They're bad enough as it is. So I really like to get nice sunglasses and I'll have one pair that I kind of wear throughout the season. Right now I have this pair and I also have a, um, a Victoria Beckham pair of aviators that I switch out between. Um, but that's about it. And the next season I'll rotate to a new pair. But those are my trusty black ones. Uh, what else? What else? Okay. Some beauty stuff. Deodorant wipes. I found these when I was at Ulta. And you know when you go to Ulta, you just buy stuff. You're like, what? how did I get in here? What am I doing in here? So I bought these Pacifica um, underarm deodorant wipes. They're awesome, I have to say. I wear natural deodorant because I'm not trying to put those chemicals underneath these armpits. No aluminum for me, thank you. But let's be honest, natural deodorant doesn't always hold up throughout the entire day. And no one wants to be the smelly kid in class. So I keep these little deodorant wipes in my bag in case it's a particularly sweaty day. Just wipe up real quick. Those are really good. Impulse buy, gone right. Uh, lotion, I am like a forever dry hand having mofo. These hands are always dry. So you gotta keep lotion so you don't look gross. What else do I have? God, I'm so weird. Um, I also have a toothbrush <laughs> and toothpaste in my bag. Um, here's a fun fact. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you don't know this, but I have Invisalign braces. Um, I don't wear them when I shoot the YouTube videos because, I don't know, it makes the light reflects. It looks stupid. My dentist told me not to do it. Um, but I have Invisalign because I'm finally fixing my little snaggle tooth because it bugs me and I feel self-conscious about it. And my close friend is an orthodontist and she was like, I'll do it for you. Who's going to say no to that? But because I have Invisalign, I have to brush my teeth like 800 times a day. So I have my toothpaste, and then I really love this toothbrush, and it's obviously, I use it, it's all scratched up, but it's this little tiny electric toothbrush. And I found this at the beauty store, but they also have it on Amazon. It is um, Violife, V-I-O-Life.com. And this is a really cool toothbrush for traveling stay okay what else is in here okay here's a couple other like little beauty things just pull them all out so I always keep at least one lipstick in my bag sometimes I'll end up having four and I'll have to take them out and put them back on my vanity but this is my favorite lipstick ever it's my Tom Ford this is cherry lush it's the best red that I've ever come across. And I have multiple tubes because I don't want, I don't want them ever to run out. I'll just put that there. Um, and then I have a compact. This is Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really love this powder, um, which is why I don't keep it on my vanity, I keep it in my purse. It's good for a pinch to like get rid of shine, and it's good to have a mirror to check yourself out. Um, but it's just not my favorite. And then I always keep a little perfume. I don't wear this particular perfume regularly, but I keep it in my bag in case there's a funky moment and you just need some perfume. So whenever I get like a cool sample of perfume that I like, I like this one. Um, I just stick it in my bag just in case. And right now I have Aquifer because I just got a new tattoo. I got a needle and thread. And when the tattoo's dry, you must hydrate, so that's in there. And then I also keep this um, face spray just to keep my makeup refreshed. If it's hot, keep my face like not looking like a hot, greasy monster. Um, this is definitely my favorite. 
I got these, I, I've been buying this for years, but I found them for super cheap in Paris, so I bought a bunch. And then a hair tie. Gotta have a hair tie. And then finally, my two, like Lauren's kind of weird. Well, this one's not weird. I keep headphones because I listen to podcasts nonstop. I listen to podcasts when I get dressed in the morning. And when I'm walking my dog, I listen to podcasts. And if I'm waiting somewhere in line, I pop these puppies on and I listen to a podcast. So always keep headphones in my bag and then I also keep my fidget spinner in my bag I have two I have two gold fidget spinners and I bought this at the grocery store because I wanted to see what all the freaking hubbub was about and then I done got addicted to a fidget spinner so I keep this in my bag so if someone's like really ADDing out someone's getting on my nerves and I kind of want to ignore them I just bust out the fidget spinner. And then of course, here's my other Lauren's a weirdo. Of course I keep my keys and I've got my little Saint Laurent keychain that I love, um, my keys. And then my house key has a little Papillon because that's the type of dog that I have. So I have my little Yoji key thing and it always gets dirty and funky like it is right now. And then I just go buy a new one. This is like my fourth one. So if they ever discontinue them, I'll be super pissed about it. But then I don't have to fumble for my keys because I always know if Yoji's on it, then I'm at home. So that is what's in my bag, folks. Gucci bag is the current one in rotation. I've actually been quite good at switching my bags up regularly, which I never did before, but now I do. Um, so yeah, that's what's in my bag. Hope you all enjoyed that video. If there's any other little weird personal things you want to know about me or see from me, maybe like my nighttime routine, books I read, I don't know. I don't know what you want to know. I won't know unless you put it in the comments. So drop it in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe and share my videos so we can all help make the world a more stylish place. Catch y'all in the next video. Thank you.